My name is Chang Tambo Robles. We've been attending CCAC for the past 50 years. My parents have been attending this church before I was born. My husband and I were blessed with three children, Jamil Melchizedek, Jerushimel Metusela, and Joshmil Moses. I strongly believe what the scripture says in Proverbs 22 verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. By God's grace, all of them grew in the ways of the Lord. Jamil Melchizedek is now in her residency as a nurse anesthesiologist, providing care for the patients before, during, and after surgery. And she was known as the nurse singing Christian songs to the patients in ICU and had a business of bit-to-bit -bit training. She conducts advanced cardiovascular life support and basic life support for nurses and other frontliners. Her family is residing in the U.S. Jerushmiel Metusela graduated bachelor's degree in pharmacy, is a leader at the youth tribe, choir member, and a team leader of praise and worship ministry of CCAC. My youngest Joshmiel Moses is now in high school. We have two grandchildren, namely Elisha and Elia. Last 2019, our petition was finally granted by the U.S. government. My husband and I joined our eldest daughter with her family in the state of Arizona. We uprooted our life in the Philippines, left our jobs, and started a new life, a life of many transitions in a foreign land. Our first few years in the U.S. were not easy. We need to adjust to a new culture find a job and be separated from our two children, Josh 21 and Josh 14 years old who are still based in Quezon City. This left Josh to fend to our teenage son, Josh. We miss them so much. We continue to keep in touch with them through video calls and chat. U.S. is known as a land of opportunity. There's plenty of jobs. We need to be certified in a certain area of expertise. As a stepping stone, I went to school and passed the Arizona State Board NCIA exam as a caregiver. In March 2020, the worldwide pandemic was declared. A drastic change happened when COVID-19 struck the global economy. There was a shortage of food and necessities. Big and small businesses were closed. A lot of people were laid off. Houses of worship were shut down but we regularly attend CCAC online worship service. With this catastrophe, we don't have any chance to visit our kids in the Philippines. Now Dong, my husband, is now working at the airport, American Airlines, where we enjoy the benefits of free flights. As a frontliner, God has given me a new calling by praying for patients under hospice care personally attending and giving care to the needs of COVID victims and the elderly. Yes, migrating to another country while experiencing this pandemic changed me and my family in many ways. But we hold on to God who never changes. For I, the Lord, do not change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Once again, I'm Jan Tamparopoulos, standing on God's praise and mercy. Trusting the Lord forever. He is my everlasting rock. But be the Lord.